Ivermectin is a cheap and safe medicine used to treat parasites infection in animals and humans. In 2020, Cali et al. published their study results showing that ivermectin could inhibit the replication of COVID-19 viruses in cell culture. This has caused ivermectin to be hailed as a promising therapeutic option for COVID-19. However, the incorporation of ivermectin into the COVID-19 treatment protocol was hesitated as clinical trials are needed to show that ivermectin will work in human. The situation is complicated by the rise of conspiracy theory that ivermectin is not widely used because drug companies are depriving the public of a cheap cure. In this video, we will give a detailed overview of clinical trials carried out in various countries. It should be noted that many clinical trials were flawed. Hence, a Cochrane review was carried out to analyze the clinical trial evidences up to the 26th of May 2021. 38 studies were excluded due to the following reasons. The studies evaluated a combination of ivermectin with other treatment that were different between groups. The studies investigated active comparators without proven efficacy. The studies used wrong intervention. The studies used wrong study population including RT-PCR negative participants. 14 studies are included and these are the number of participants in each study. Usually a study that has more participants will generate more reliable results. If you wish to examine the results of this Cochrane review, please read this open access article. In brief, these are the findings. Ivermectin may have little or no effect compared to placebo or standard of care on clinical improvement, duration of hospitalization, symptoms resolved and adverse events. There are a few studies that indicate Ivermectin may be able to reduce the number of death, but the number of deaths among the participants were too low to draw a conclusion. It should be noted that there are some clinical trials that show very positive results for ivermectin usage but not included in the Cochrane review due to some controversy, we will give one example here. In the 28th of December 2020, Professor Ahmed Elgazar from Bana University, Egypt produced a preliminary reports that have not undergone peer review. The report summarized the results of a clinical trial seeming to show that ivermectin can greatly reduce COVID-19 death rates. However, Many scientists have raised concerns that there may be elements of plagiarism and data manipulation within the report. These are the doubts raised regarding the published articles. Some phrases were identical to those in other published work. Some patient records seem to be duplicated. Inconsistencies between the raw data and the information in the paper. Patients' records indicate that some patients had died before the study's start date. Some numbers that seem to be too consistent to have occurred by chance. On the 14th of July 2021, this article had been withdrew to be formally investigated. Besides, Egypt's Minister of Higher Education and Scientific Research has also examined the allegations. However, Professor Elgazar defended his study and complained that he was not given a chance to defend his work before it was removed. There are some notable clinical trials with relatively high number of participants recently. The Mahmoud study conducted by Dhaka Medical College, Bangladesh involved 363 participants. They found that patients with mild to moderate COVID-19 infection treated with ivermectin plus doxycycline recovered earlier, were less likely to progress to more serious disease, and were more likely to be COVID-19 negative by RT-PCR on day 14. The Ivercor study conducted in Argentina had 501 participants and found that ivermectin had no significant effect on preventing hospitalization of patients with COVID-19. Another major clinical trial is the TOGETHER study from Canada but the results from this study is yet to be published. In the future, we may publish another video to update the new findings. Finally, we will talk about the clinical trial conducted by Malaysia. It should be noted that by the time this video is published, the results of this trial is yet to be published. The information that we presented here is collected from newspaper and Ministry of Health social platform. This study involves 490 COVID-19 patients in categories 2 and 3. The objective is to determine whether ivermectin usage on patients aged 50 and above, as well as those with one comorbidity, on the first week of COVID-19 could prevent them from worsening to categories 4 and 5. These are the results announced. Ivermectin didn't improve the progress of patients from mild to severe symptoms, ICU admission, usage of breathing support equipment, recovery of symptoms, blood test parameter and chest X-ray scans. However, there is a three-fold occurrence of side effects with most of them were diarrhea cases. Based on these findings, ivermectin was not recommended to be included in the existing COVID-19 treatment guidelines.
It is worth mentioning that the Malaysia study also reported a 70% lower number of death in the ivermectin group compared to the standard of care group. However, as this study is not designed to study ivermectin ability to reduce mortality rate, the number of participants included are not sufficient to produce enough number of death to prove that ivermectin can effectively reduce mortality rate. Nevertheless, this suggests that a followed-up clinical trial to investigate ivermectin effect on mortality rate is necessary. In conclusion, ivermectin ability to prevent progression of mild COVID-19 into severe symptoms is not promising. However, ivermectin usefulness on other aspects still require further investigation. For example, Malaysia is going to have a second clinical trial to study ivermectin efficacy to prevent COVID-19 spread among close contacts of index cases. Until we have solid evidence to show the value of ivermectin in treating COVID-19, the usage of ivermectin for COVID-19 should be kept for clinical trial only. This is particularly true for the usage of ivermectin for preventative purposes, as ivermectin has not been proven to be safe for long-term, high-frequency consumption. If you enjoy the information that we share, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified when our next video is ready. By giving us positive feedback, you will help to promote our videos so that more people will be able to receive correct information regarding COVID-19 and other health analytics. If you are interested in drugs and diseases, this is a course that we recommend. For more information, please scan the QR code or refer to the link in description.